Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. Today we will talk about marketing cloud personalization and uh, more specifically about email, email open time uh, campaign. So let's jump into it. What is email open time email uh, campaign? It's a possibility for you um, to directly personalize the email content when a user open it. So when the user open it, if it's at 6 a.m. or 6 p.m., the content will be different even after you send it. So that's a powerful feature of uh, OTE open time email. So as you can see, I've created a catalog of products that you will be able to find just here. And within this catalog, I've added uh, four pair of shoes that are from uh, the website Adidas. So usually it's automated, but as I don't uh, do like the tracking of the website Adidas, then I added it manually, but it's fine. You can see I have this kind of information. And here I have like three checkboxes uh, based on if the product is available or not. So let's jump into it. I will just, as you can see, I created a new uh, email open time uh, template. And what I will do is I will go to, to uh, I will go to directly pick uh, the value to display. So like they are available online, obviously, uh, but that's my uh, thing that uh, I use to basically call the value. To find the value, I feel it's way easy uh, when I do like this. Uh, so here I will say, Gucci. OK. Uh, now what I will do is I will just go in the Salesforce documentation. And as you can see, here you have like a piece of code that you can reuse, but I, I don't need to, I will not reuse it. I will just uh, call some content block. And I will do that, tac, and tac. Tack. So here, as you can see, I display the image. Uh, I can say, tack. OK. So here, as you can see, the image is displayed in the content block. Uh, but I will put a div called uh, product. We will call it tack, tack, div, uh, style, uh, div class. Uh, no, we will just do div style equal uh, tack. And here, I will say uh, page uh, 100 pixel. And uh, and I would do the same with weight with so I would put this tag with and if I do that then I close my thing yep so I should be able to do that so as you can see now I've added on the top left uh, it's not bad but I need to put it to center it so I will say uh, padding top uh, 50 pixel and here uh, padding uh, left 50 pixel. So maybe I will say uh, 70 and 70. OK, so here is quite centered. It's not like amazing, but let's say it's centered. Uh, and yeah, OK. Now what I will do that once I have added that, I've created my div, I will add the item name. So I will say uh, I will recreate a div. And I will go, uh, so like, like all the attributes are available here. So I can pick them there on my website. Uh, I can put name. And here, as you can see, uh, I have the name. If you don't know, you can always use the Explorer. And here, I will reuse the style thing. And I will say tag style. And I will say text align uh, center. Text align center. OK, so I forgot that. Yep, perfect. And here, uh, is it available? Date published, tag, tag, tag. No. Uh, so I will just go on my product, and I will display the price. So if you don't know how to access the value, just do that. Like it doesn't take long, and it can save you a lot of time. So every time I'm stuck, I'm, I'm doing that. So I will do br br yep, and here it's a price, and I will do tac tac tac. And here, as you can see, I have the price. So if I do that, I can even put aod, and here I have my price. Okay. So now that I have created that, what I want to do is to add if else value to give information to my customer. So let's say, uh, let's say, uh, so I will pass the, as you can see here, I pass my if else condition. And here I will go to pick directly the, so this is not what I want. So I will remove this condition and I will just let the if go. And here, what I will do is I will have a look at the attributes. So like the way you use an attribute, you can copy that. And uh, basically what you can do is you can do that. So you pass this. And here you will check is available. So you may have to go in the settings and click catalog and object. Once you click that, you can go in product. And here they explain you a bit. Uh, and as you can see, I always put the same attribute name and label because it's a way to go. It's way more easy to understand. Uh, and here we can do is available. And here we will say uh, equal true. So if uh, the checkbox is available, we say product is available. And if so, you could put an image as well. And if not, you can say product is sold out. 
and you have your if condition. So this is quite useful. Uh, one of the things that can be interesting to, to show is, uh, OK, let's say uh, we uh, it's called like the fallback value. So it's a way for you to protect uh, your content. So basically, so what I will do is like I will put on my image URL. So as you can see, I used before uh, a div, uh, like a personalization div called image URL. And what I will say is if um, if like the image URL is not available, then put something. Basically, this is what I can do with uh, with field. As you can see, I've just added uh, field and here image URL, and 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 then uh, and then I've added uh, like nothing here. Like just the idea of that is to say if like the image is deleted or for whatever reason cannot load or is not on the there is nothing here which can happen, then I can write uh, image not available. And this is a fallback value. So basically, I've created all of that. Uh, now I will just show you if I test with another product. So for example, like this one, if I click here, here I will have product is sold out. And all of this uh, HTML uh, will be populated as an image. So another thing that I would just want to do, I will do another if, and I will put it here. And this time I will not use uh, else. So it will be just an if. And I will say if product, so I think it is discounted equal true, and then we will put a uh, product is uh, discounted. Uh, and tac, tac, tac. I will just put, uh, yeah. okay. So um, so as you can see, this is how it can looks like. And now if I call like the go, yep. And the Gucci, okay, yep. So that's uh, my content block that I created. As you can see, I can save it. So I will save it now. Uh, so I will call that uh, X product shoes. And I will save it and I will publish it for email. So now this is published. This will be published. And what I need to do is I need to create an Einstein recipe. Uh, and basically, it will not be really visible here because Einstein recipe are based on uh, like the activity of your user. That's all you need to check all the time. But uh, I will just save this one and train it and then publish it. Usually, you are supposed to click on simulate after that. Uh, so I, I, I don't think I have to simulate it. I will just publish it directly. Because I already know that um, in our scenario, it doesn't work because we don't have traffic because we are not tracking a website. But try to simulate it all the time. So I've created my recipe. Now I can create a campaign. And uh, X product shows. X product shows. Now I, I choose the type of product. Now I choose the template. So product shows. Tac, tac, tac. We'll take four of them. Yep. So it's like the design again is not like the best, but it works. So you can click here. Then you can click simulate. And here you will have a preview. So here, as you can see, like the, it's two different shoes. But here you have like the, the Copa and here's the Gazelle and you have different information. And like I would say, like the beauty of the product is that if I change in the backend of my catalog, so here, if I, if I go in a catalog and I change the settings for these shoes, for example, it will, up, up, uh, it will update. Uh, the content when the user opens the email. So now I can click on generate HTML. So I have the, the content block here. And I can go in Email Studio. So as you can see, I just created a basic email. So I will even redo that. Now I can pass an HTML content block. I passed my uh, the HTML that I copy, and I changed user ID with email address. Uh, OK. Tac, tac. I change for all the value. Tac, 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 tac. Okay, perfect. And now, uh, and now, when I preview the content, I should have, uh, as you can see, two pair of shoes. So of course, we need to design your email. But here, you have product is sold out and product is discounted. And here, you have product is available. So now, what I will do is uh, I will go into the catalog, and I will go into product. And I will change the variable of that. So here is like product is available for the gazelle, like the Adidas gazelle. So I will say product is sold out. OK. And for uh, like the copa, I will say uh, product is available and product is discounted. OK, I will do that. So now that I've done that, I will. So it can take up to one hour uh, to update on the 
to, to, to update like the, the new content if I change the backend. So I will see you in one hour and we will see the result of the email just here. See you soon. And as you can see now, uh, like the, the, the product has been updated in my email when I preview it. We can see that uh, now like the Copa uh, is available and discounted and the Gazelle is sold out, sold out as uh, the backend of my product. Um, so it's interesting because like, let's say um, I send an email campaign to 1 million subscribers and I sell all my shoes uh, directly uh, after a few days and I can update in the catalog, uh, okay, uh, sold out for this item. And when the user opens the, the email that I've sent, uh, then you can see directly that the product is sold out. I don't have to send a second email. Everything can be updated automatically. So I think that's the beauty and the power of uh, OTE, open time email uh, for in, uh, marketing cloud personalization. And of course, you can go way deeper. This is a basic example to give you like the main idea uh, of what this product is for. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, please let me know and 